Happy New Year! <laughs> Hello everyone, howdy hi, welcome back to my channel. As always, don't forget to like, and if you make it to the end, dislike if this wasn't your vibe. Comment, share, click subscribe, click the bell, all the things. And for those of you who are very confused, I say Happy New Year because for most people, it's spring. For those of us like myself who find themselves still in 20 to 30 degree weather, it's maybe going to be spring by May. And a lot of people talk about how this time of year is when everything becomes alive, everything becomes awake. There's a lot of chaos, there's a lot of disruption as things wake up again. And I feel most of us had heavy marches. Honestly, if you're like me, January, February, and March have had their highs and lows, but there's something about April that really feels like you're letting go, letting God, seeing the light through the tunnel of whatever winter still was holding on to, and it just truly feels like you're shedding a skin and starting new. At least that's how it feels for me. So this is a bonus video I wanted to do that's essentially a April reset, April print, hello, April planning. <laughs> part one so if this is your cup of tea buckle in there's going to be technically a part two where i do the full april monthly plan all the things but i think you all will enjoy this video as well because we're gonna be talking about bingo y'all bingo was bad the way february was good bingo was bad this month i'm just gonna go through because i feel like i prematurely marked off some of my bingo pieces and I shouldn't have. So for those of you who don't know, the bingo is literally where I make 25 spaces on a big poster board and I write out the 25 things I want to accomplish in the month, which may sound like a lot, but some of it's just basic habits and tracking that I set in my yearly goals, my monthly goals, my monthly checklists. In my journal for each month, I do a journal page where I just put this month bingo and the things I want to do that month. As easy as that. So Hopefully this is easy enough to get through, but you know, some months like March, it's not. The first thing I wanted to do was lose eight pounds. It did not happen. I lost eight pounds in January and I've just maintained those eight pounds since. I am going to be talking about some more fitness wellness things in this in the next video. So we'll see if that makes a difference in my progress. I wanted to find an acting class. There are no acting classes near me and there's no acting classes in New York City that fit my lifestyle right now. So Victoria becoming an actor is still in limbo. Over ear headphones. I'm so tired of spending so much money on headphones and I'm in a place where I think I'm just going to settle with like cheap headphones, like $20 headphones, and then save up some money to maybe invest in some bows. I have been eyeing the Bose over ear as well as the Bose in ear or maybe even a pair of Sony over ear headphones, but I just don't have the money for it in this moment. I plan on having the money for it before the end of 2024 because one way or another god's gonna see it through at this point in my life i'm giving certain things to god and saying you know what this is very materialistic but i know when i'm stepping into my blessings this will be something that is like a part of the package so i found a really cheap pair of headphones i did not buy them i have been trying to minimize how much i spend online because i don't want to just buy things and then think oh i forgot something so i'm trying to just make a list of stuff as i go and then maybe three weeks in say okay this is everything i think i need to order and then order it so i found a pair they're on amazon i'll link it down below and i also bought a pair of cheap in-ear headphones by the same brand i really like them i charged the battery when i got them a month ago and I haven't had to charge them since which I could not say the same for the Beats I've owned the Apple AirPods I've owned so I'm thinking I'm gonna be just fine with my $20 headphones I checked off this one but I shouldn't have I did read fourth wing I did read when we were bright and beautiful and I did read throne of glass but I did not read a new earth and if you watch the video that went up before this you would know that I did update my book club that I'm running 
as people love to say I do too much but I just think you know keeping the book club together is one of the bare minimum bare bones things I can do so I will be linking the book club for anyone who wants to find new books to read even if you don't read the books I haven't done discussions in a while because people just don't sign up for them but I do enjoy sharing the books I'm reading a lot of people ask me how I find the books I read so if you're ever just like what's Victoria reading check out the book club it's most likely that if it's not something I'm talking about on my other profiles I was supposed to record some podcasts for a media show I want to do and a project I have I have guests I want to ask but for whatever reason I'm feeling really shy and nervous that when I ask these people they're gonna say no so I need to put on my big girl cardigan and just just ask the worst thing I can do is ask the worst thing you can do is tell yourself no before they actually tell you no I want to plan two trips I had two trips in mind and now I'm like but I feel like that's really expensive for like a three-day trip so I'm looking at replanning trips and I did not do that this month I was supposed to but I didn't I had a consultation for aesthetics and the practitioner just looked at me and was like you're complaining about the anatomy of your face so that was a bust very thankful that you know she was honest with me she pretty much said everybody has the things that I was concerned about and that I really don't need anything so that was fun <laughs> it killed my confidence a bit because it's like dang I thought this was something I could fix but now I'm finding out I'm just naturally that way but <sighs> I was born that way hey I was born that way <laughs> I'm on the right track but okay I was gonna plan a gala for whenever I can actually run said gala but that did not happen this month I don't know what happened in March compared to January February everything I put on my bingo I just like wrote it March 1st and then just never revisited this and it just sat in my bedroom corner I was supposed to look at a one-on-one -on -one acting coach this was when I still thought I wanted to go to grad school for acting but right now I'm like I think I'm okay with just a bachelor's degree I'm currently making a lot of money with the bachelor's degree that I have and it's not even for the field it is but it isn't for the field that I studied in college so it's just one of those why go back to school for any like graduate degree when I could just do it or I've shown myself I could just do it does that make sense I don't think I did five YouTube videos this month I don't know I did post two blogs I did not post all the podcasts I wanted to post as I previously noted. I did apply to some jobs, you know, we're still a 9 to 5 girl and a 9 to 5 world, even though I'm trying to shake up my lifestyle. I did not look up background acting, same as everything else, I, I, on a good day I got out of bed and went to work. I did not look at modeling jobs for the same reason. I did watch something funny. I did make some new recipes. I did make a new kombucha. In fact, I need to actually second ferment that today because I'm like days overdue, which I'm hoping it's still drinkable because I want to say it's at day like 14. So let's just hope I am okay after I drink this particular batch. I was supposed to work on three books and I really didn't. I didn't even work on their covers again just i really wasn't in the mood to do much this month i was supposed to work on another project where i put together ebooks and i have like the bones of these projects but it's like trying to build them as a whole body of work takes a lot of time and i downplay that so i'm already tired and then when i jump into these projects i'm like dang i don't want to do it and then it just doesn't get done so that's what's been happening for the last three months it's like i want to do it but then by the time i get to it i'm not in the mood to do it and then i just don't do it which is awful Another thing, like the headphones that I wanted to do, was buy YouTube lighting. Did not happen because with what money <laughs> for now. And another thing I want to do is, as you all know, I've got a lot of old technology I don't use but is still in good condition. So I was supposed to put those up online to sell and I still haven't done that because I need to take the professional photos with, of them to like put on my account. So I still need to do that. I was supposed to work out every day this month I was on track until last week when I really just said I can't and I took maybe like four rest days last week within the whole month so I want to say I had one rest day a week and then last week I had four so you know it is what it is I probably had a lot of cheat meals on here I put only have six but I think I had more than that and then last but not least I wanted to look into jaw liposuction I'm gonna save up money for that don't know when I'd be able to actually afford it but like this has got to go it's got to go it's got to go so I just want to plan that out research 
offices, just look into it. I mean, it's one of those things where I've always said it. I would revisit this when I actually lose all the weight I want to lose, just in case. But I have a gut feeling, doesn't matter how much weight I lose, it'll be there. And so I need to have a plan ready to get rid of it. <laughs> you know, I have ex I've just accepted I'm already over budget for April. That just goes from the fact that I need clothes. It's getting hotter outside and I don't really own anything for my body. 80% of my closet is stuff that I used to be able to fit when I was a size 6. And I'm just on the hunt for some good affordable clothes. I'm looking at Old Navy. I've also been looking at H&M as well as a few pieces from Abercrombie. I did order some new Lululemon pieces on their clearance section. And that's like a non-scale victory because I'm currently a size 10 in Lululemon. And when I first started buying from their brand, I was a size 12. But I'm not gonna lie, sizing's a little wild because I recently bought a bunch of clothes in size 14, 16 and it was too tight. So you can imagine trying to process the fact that you weigh less <laughs> than you did the year before, but clothes that are bigger than the sizes you bought last year that were too big are now too small. So I don't know what's happening with the sizing industry. I don't know what's happening with clothes, but I'm over it. Like I decided at some point this month, I'm gonna just go buy clothes. I'm gonna keep myself at a budget of $200, but we're gonna buy clothes. I also have just accepted because there's a Sephora sale, I'm going to get new makeup because some of my makeup is breaking my skin out. It's old, it's it's like a year old and that's when it expires. And unlike the old me who used to use five-year-old makeup, the new me is trying to take better care of her skin. So I'll probably go more into detail of like my plans and my budget in the next video, but just in this one, because especially a lot of the stuff that I'm spending money on is on my bingo card. So again, if you're watching the next one, you'll see what's on my bingo card for April. And just this is more of the disclaimer of I've already acknowledged I'm going to be paying myself back in May. I don't have as many expenses in May. So where I overspent in like beauty and self-care and honestly at this rate food, I bought like three cheat meals and food is expensive. It's like 20 to $30 a meal per person where I live, aka New York. So I've just accepted my budget plus the shopping I've done the last two weeks on food and little things like a new book and I got skincare and gave out as gifts and everyone loves it so I don't feel bad for spending the money. I've just accepted we, we are going to be spending more than we make this month and that's okay. Another big focus reflecting on March is revisiting my routines because I have not done a single thing I said I was going to do which is ironic because I usually do every single thing I say I'm going to do and by that I mean I want to go to bed at a decent time I want to wake up at a decent time I want to actually show up for my workouts every day I want to show up for my diet I want to show out for my two things on my to-do list a day so the way I said I didn't acknowledge my bingo at all in March I'm going to be looking at my bingo and planning out each week with okay you have 25 things on here, even though some of them are going to be things like, you know, no more than one cheat meal a week. That's easy enough to follow. It's not like I have 25 literal things I have to like get done in April. And just staying on track of that because those habits I established are what are going to help me maintain the progress I'm making as a person. And they're going to keep me feeling as if I'm in control of my own choices and overall doing things that benefit me. So why keep sabotaging myself? You know, something else I'm really prioritizing is focusing on how we're going to stay on track. So right now with my nutrition and fitness, that looks like revisiting my diet so that it includes 100 grams of protein. I saw a video on my Instagram Reels Explore page and a woman who lost roughly 150 pounds talked about how she really focused on protein and I'm wondering if I'm someone who also needs to do that. As you all know, I've tried and quit and tried again just about everything you can think of at this point and that's something I have not done. I have not really looked at how much protein I'm eating. We re-downloaded my fitness pal because I want to like really look at how much protein I'm intaking and the goal at least I started it this week is to eat a hundred grams of protein a day I do find myself feeling fuller I'm not currently fasting like I was in January so I'm thinking in April just putting another emphasis on the fasting schedule with the 100 grams of protein and seeing how that affects my mentality because as you all know I'm someone who emotionally eats so when I'm like getting a cheat meal or whenever I'm like straying from my diet it's because something 
external is affecting my emotions so trying to just focus on that and hopefully fixing my diet in these ways will allow me to you know conquer the mental battle of not picking up food as a friend but picking up food as a source of nutrition now obviously i let myself get a cheat meal every week so it's not like i'm not allowed to eat things that i think are good like i'm still gonna get a euro okay we're, we're still gonna get a euro with french fries french fries but we're not gonna get one every single day for both our bank account and our belly. But that's honestly the goals for April, right? Just focusing on how I feel as a person, focusing on what makes me angry, what makes me happy, what makes me sad, what makes me optimistic, what keeps me faithful, and just focusing on the emotions and responding to them. That's why March ended the way it did. I feel so at peace at doing nothing. For the last 14 days, I've woken up I went to work because I have to go to work. I don't want to use leave if I don't have to. I would go to a workout, even if it was just one yoga class, come home, shower, get ready for bed, clean, pack for the next day, crawl into bed, maybe watch an episode of Housewives or read some chapters in my book or watch a YouTube video, go to sleep and repeat. And as someone who's very productive, someone who has a lot of dreams, goals, aspirations, as you all know, someone who's trying to do so much and feels like Alexander Hamilton as he's portrayed in the musical Hamilton, there's something about these past two weeks that have shown me when you listen to your emotions, you just feel better. Rather than forcing myself to do things I didn't want to do, I just let myself do whatever my body needed. And I feel so rejuvenated to the point where I'm excited for April. I think April is going to be the month of rebirth. Again, it's the new year. We're going to be talking about all of my revisitation of all the goals, all the things, and the second part of this saga and the next video where we really do the April planning and budgeting and like really getting in there so i'm very excited to share that with you all i'm very excited to go over what that looks like for me and how you can apply it into your own life but more than anything i just want to leave you with listen to where you are because that's where you're going to be most open to receiving and just reminding yourself to stay grounded because those are the two biggest lessons i learned from march and applying what i've learned will probably be my biggest blessing going into april thank you so much for watching this video as always don't forget to give a like to like share with a friend comment down below subscribe and click the bell that way you're notified about every single upload i put out you are important you are loved and you are blessed i will see you all in the next video take care and until then <laughs>